Yo, what up buddies? Welcome back to Beaker's Lab, and have you guys ever wondered what would happen if you brought a bunch of Town Hall 3s and other low-level people into a high-level war? No? I was wondering that. I was thinking it was gonna get us a real easy war match. No. No, it did not! Actually, it got us basically the same war match we always get, which is almost all Town Hall 10s. I was thinking, what? How could this be? I don't know, man. Maybe bad luck, maybe not. But anyway, there's one thing on our side here. Overall, we're totally screwed. There's no way we're gonna win this war. We're so outmatched. But one thing is on our side. The enemy keeps failing. So we're gonna watch some of the best fails, some of the highlights so far. Look at that. I think he thought he had a golem in his clan casual. He drops it and it's just a bunch of wizards and they all get shot. Nice! Love it. One for us. So, look in the middle here. This is a problem. This guy has almost all of his golems right in the middle, and look at this base. You guys can probably tell me, what is this base? Anti three star base? That's right! So, what that means is, the town hall is very easy to get. You don't have to put all your troops on the town hall. You spread them out. You spread them out way, way out, and you'll get 50% and the town hall. That's the point of these bases. They're supposed to be easy to get the town hall. But all his troops are in the middle. Well, what's left of them? His troops are not doing so hot. His heroes are doing even less hot. His king is dead. Queen is dying. And he's at 42%. What? Not looking good, buddy. Whoa. He activates the queen ability, but that's really not going to be enough, is it? We've all been in this situation. This situation where you're kind of close to 50%, but you know you're not going to make it. You're not even going to be close. It's like, oh... I don't even want to go back to clan chat right now, <laughs> like, I just want to leave. I usually do. I usually just shut my iPad off and, and just leave. I don't even talk to my clan mates when I fail like this. And I just come back later and like, hey, what's up guys? Like, nothing happened. Look at this, dude. The lava, the lava hound, not the lava pups, the actual hound is sealing the deal. <laughs> When's the last time you saw that? I don't know if I've seen that before. Anyway. The mass golem, mass jump, attack, fails. Fails on an anti three star base. Now I'm gonna say it, if you guys are gonna use that attack against an anti three star base, just make sure you spread out the troops. Spread them way out. Now, case number two here, we've got another guy doing a similar thing against Ola. What's up Ola, how you doing? Ola is a great attacker in the clan. We've actually shown you guys some trophy pushing rage from him. He's a great trophy pusher. Let's see what he can do on defense. Yeah, he's doing pretty good so far, and this guy's doing a similar thing. He's kind of bunching up all his troops in the middle. I kind of like it, though. Look at all those wizards right there. Boom, boom, boom. They're just going to hammer on the town hall, but what now? It, now they just step right up into an inferno, and they're all dead. Poor guys. The only saving grace right here is that queen. She broke off from the main groove, thankfully. She's off on her own, and she can get some more percentage, but these guys in the middle... They're not doing so hot. I think they're all dead. They're all dead! Oh! Ola had a single Inferno in there. Wow. That's even... <laughs> that's an even better reason to not just charge into the middle like that. What? <laughs> you gotta spread your troops out, guys. You gotta do it. Whoa, the Hound coming in for the defensive win again. Hounds are just beasting today. Wow. Let's follow this train, follow this train as they go down to the bottom. What are they looking for? Oh, that wizard. That wizard's not going to last long. Boom. Oh, he took, he took some out with him, though. Nice. 15 seconds. What, what are you going to do? Let's see it. You going to go down shooting? Let's see it. Yeah, I don't know what he's doing. He, he's trying to do something over here, but it's not going to be enough. Let's face it. If you wanted to get out of this mess, you would need a lot of troops and a lot of time, and he has neither. See ya. Defensive win number two. Let me clarify here. That is, of course, not a true win, but it's a win. I mean, anybody in a clan war situation knows anything less than a two-star is a loss. And even two-stars, they're not, you know, they're not going to get you a win. It's all about the three-stars. So, a one-star, not going to cut it. So, guys, this is a bonus raid. I almost didn't show this one, but, uh, well, it's well worth it. <laughs> 
<laughs> this is a great one. So a little different strategy here. We got an air attack and it's an air spam attack, kind of like the mass golem attack in a way. You just rush, you just rush the base and see what happens. So what's happening? He's not doing too bad. I got to hand it to him. Look, he's about to take out the first Inferno with that gang of balloons. So many balloons. Probably could have traded some balloons for another hound that might have helped. Or it might not have. I don't know. I think this base would have been kind of vulnerable to it, but eh, we'll never know now. Anyway, what's the cleanup crew? How are they doing? We got a, a dragon. Nice to see a dragon. You never see dragons in Town Hall 10 anymore. Because, uh, well, for good reason. Nobody used dragons. But... This guy is just for cleanup. I guess it works. Um, now he's going to get through that final wall. Oh, he has a couple of wall breakers. So let's see how he does. Sending in the heroes. Am I reading that right? He has a 23 king and a 40 queen. Nice. You know, I know some people say the king sucks, but king is not bad, guys. Don't neglect your king. So what is going on here? Whoa, so much going on. Oh, skeleton traps did some serious work. But the MVP... Definitely, definitely goes to the Lava Hound. Again, that is three, <laughs> what are we going to call that, blocks? Three blocks in a row. <laughs> Serious. Or you can almost call these steals because, you know, without the Lava the lava Hound on a lot of these raids, these guys might have, they might have gotten the, the, the 50%. But in this case, it's a zero star. Whoa. Don't see that every day. Zero star. Did he touch the town hall at all? I don't think he did. Good try, though. I'm going to give him a little golf clap for a good try. <clears throat> I appreciate the try. Anyways, guys, what do we got next? Oh, Ola again. Now, this is, of course, Ola's second account, and it's getting taken care of by a heavy hitter named Storm. I can't, I can't believe the, their number eight guy is going in for that. Like, you guys didn't have a lower level guy than this guy? Hmm. Okay. I... It's okay. I dig it. So we're going to speed that up and watch him get this epic three-star. Drop the hammer. Boom. There we go. Well, it puts some nice stars in his profile, at least. This guy actually also took out the other Town Hall 3 uh, below Ola. So props, man. Six stars in war. You did great. So what do we got for the final right here? Toby. My man Toby with the maxed base. You don't want to mess with a max base. Like... Think about it. If you make some mistakes on a max base, all of a sudden, you're not doing so hot. And, you know, you can fail pretty easily. So let's see what happens. Um, is this a mistake or is that a defective jump spell? Hmm. Those golems don't seem to be wanting to go into the base. That's right. He put the jump spell way too deep in the base. One for us. Nice. So what's up with the other crew here? We got a couple of golems in there. Uh, they're tanking okay. The king is in front. A lot of wizards. Not bad, right? I mean, this could turn out good. Let's see. Let's see how it goes. My question here is, why did this guy attack from the opposite side of the town hall? Is there something I don't know about? Is that something you guys do now? You you try to make a raid harder? Hmm. I'll have to look that up. Uh, the only good thing here is there is a ton of wizards still. Still. I'm surprised on that. Look at these guys. I mean, they're just getting so lucky that the golems are tanking perfectly for them. The queen is with them. Queen is full health. The only problem is they are in the wrong neighborhood. You guys are supposed to be up there, you know. And up there is a couple of golems that are dying. So, not looking good. I don't think anybody touched the town hall at all. Oh, our buddies from the beginning are still there banging on the wall. Yeah, we're going to get through this wall one day. All right. I don't think they're ever going to get through the wall. Well, maybe. They're getting close, but uh, they're... Been there a while. So, Queen. Ooh. It's almost done for you, Queen. Yeah. You're done. You still have the Arch Queen ability, but what's that going to do? At this point, you know, oh, another bomb. Oh, it's not looking good. So, look at the percentage on this raid. This was a really strong, powerful raid. And I guess just with that little mistake at the beginning, it really cost him. Whoa, you see that? He one-shotted that wall. It must have been weakened, obviously, but that looks sick. Oh, there's two golems there. I didn't even realize that. That's right. There were two golems at the beginning. Get it, guys. Make us proud. Yeah, get that cannon. They're not doing much, are they? You know, golems actually do a good amount of damage when they break, when they split. But other than that, no. 
not much. Giants are actually better as far as damage goes. But anyways, peace. Peace out, buddy. Nice try. You get a little clap, too. Let me know what you think, guys. You know, let me know if you've ever been in a weird war like this. I've talked to some people recently, today, that said they've tried this before, and it doesn't always work. If you put a bunch of Town Hall 3s in your clan, it's like... The war matching system knows that you're trying to, like, mess with it, you know? And it throws you a hard match. Like, no! You do not mess with us! No! So maybe that's what happened. We're getting punished. Anyways, guys. That's it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you next time. Peace.